Hello guys, you are welcome again to another After Effects Tutorials. Today, I want to show you how you can create a simple particle logo disintegration in Adobe After Effects like this. So support me on this one. Do not forget to hit the like on the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, then turn on the notification. Come back, let's get started. Now in Adobe After Effects, create a new composition. Feel free to name it whatever you like. I'm going to leave this to 1920 by 1080 resolution. Leave this to 30 frames per second. Then I'm going to leave this uh, duration to 5 seconds. Feel free to set your own duration. Then hit OK. Right click on your timeline, go to New and then create a new solid layer. We're going to call this BG. Then make comp size, then hit OK. We're going to add a gradient ramp to this. We're going to switch this to the effects and control so that we can make and set our own color. Then I'm going to move this particular knob to this direction and then move the bottom one to the left, somewhat like this. Then feel free to set your own color this is only but a guide navigate to where you have saved your logo drag and drop the logo into your timeline of course select footage and then hit ok we're gonna increase the scale of the logo to 150 also this will depend on what you like then select the logo Control shift c on your keyboard to pre-compose. Make sure you move all attributes to the new composition and name this logo holder. This will allow us to come in at any time and change the logo and still have the same animation. By the way, I got this logo again from freepick.com, amazing website. You can check them out. You will find a link in the description to download the project file if you want it. Select your logo pre-composed layer and add a shutter effect. We're gonna make some changes to all of this right here. We're gonna change this view to rendered, change pattern to glass. We're gonna increase repetition to 200, set extrusion depth to zero. Now expand the physics, set the rotation seed to one, the top lens axis to Z, Randomness to zero, velocity to zero, and gravity to zero. Then expand the lighting and change the ambience light to one. Now we're going to animate this particle. So what we're going to do now, if you look at it here, we have force one and force two. We're going to use the force one to animate everything right here. First of all, change the position to the left side to this point right here and then move your time indicator to zero and set a keyframe for the radius and change the value to zero then move your time indicator to four seconds forward in time and change the value of the radius to 75. we're going to go back to the top and then set the origin pick the position for the origin and put it at the same point where you have the first direction if you preview now this is what you have we're going to go back in and make some changes go back to the physics and change the velocity back to 0 0.15 if you take a look at this this is still not what exactly i want so i'm going to make adjustment to one thing right here so let's move back to four seconds and change this radius to 0 0.75 so if we take a look at this now beautiful that has fixed the problem yes this is what i want now select the logo layer here ctrl d on your keyboard to duplicate it so what we're going to do now is to remove the shutter effect from this top layer then we'll have our logo pick the pen tool pull back and then draw a shape like this but make sure no layer is selected on your timeline 
any color right here will do. Expand the shape layer. Move your time indicator to zero. And then you're going to set a keyframe for the path. Then move your time indicator to four seconds forward in time and select the points right here and move it backward. With the shape layer still selected, we're going to add a turbulent displace. We're going to make changes to this. We're going to set the amount to 193, set the size to 10 and complexity to 10. Alt click on the evolution. If you are using Mac, that will be option key. Then you click on the evolution and enter this expression time asterisk 200. Then you click out, collapse the shape layer options and set the track mat to alpha mat. Leave your time indicator right here. What we're going to do now is to adjust this keyframe until the transition happens at the same time where the particle is breaking apart. Select the shape layer, hit you on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes. So we're going to adjust this keyframe until the transition happens at the same point where the logo is also breaking. I think this is okay now. All you need to do is to just adjust the keyframe until everything is synced. You can take more time on this. Now select the bottom layer, the one with the particle effect. Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it. We're going to select the bottom one and then add a fill effect. We're going to change the color for the fill effect. Feel free to set your own color. I'm going to set this to white. Then I'll go back to the shutter effect and make the randomness to 100. I will select the top logo layer and also add a drop shadow effect. I'll adjust the distance and the softness and also the opacity. Feel free to set it to whatever you may like. I'm going to also offset the direction right here. All these, you can set them to whatever you like. So what I'm going to do now is to select all the layers except the background layer. Ctrl Shift C on your keyboard to pre-compose it. Make sure you move all attribute to the new composition and then name it whatever you like also. And hit OK. Hit S on your keyboard to reveal the scale property. Move to 4 seconds forward in time and set a keyframe for the scale value. Move your time indicator to this point where it starts breaking and scale down a bit to whatever you may like. Then move your time indicator to about 20 frames forward in time and set another keyframe. Then move your time indicator to zero and set, uh, change the value of the scale to somewhat something like this. Highlight all your keyframes. Hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease. Select this keyframe, go into the graph editor and change your curves like this. If you preview now, this is what you have. Actually, did not take much time to refine some of these options. So you're going to go into the shutter property. Make sure you tweak all these settings till you get what you want. For now, this is what I'm going to leave it at. It is very easy. They have the shutter effect has very few options that you can play around with to try different results. This is only but a guide. The destination is yours. So that is it, guys. This is how you can create a simple disintegration effect using the shutter in Adobe After Effect. If you learn something new on this video, please hit the like button that will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people if you have any question please feel free to ask me in the comment section and i'll reply to all questions as quick as i can if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my youtube channel you can support me in any way you can give me super thanks subscribe to my membership 
whatever way you want to support me with even if you share the video that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated if you like the video leaving a comment is all a support so with whatever way you are able to support me i highly appreciate you so until i see you again on the next one my name is ssb otaru for motion digit studios